to assure you that things are going to be different for you. IBEC will be a serious forum. You know it wasn't serious because there was lack of political goodwill. Relevant cabinet secretaries did not come to those meetings. All the things that were agreed on were not implemented because the chair was William Ruto. That nonsensical politics have come to an end. All the IBEC forums, all the relevant cabinet secretaries will be present and they will implement instantly what has been agreed upon. As an elected leader, I want to assure you the kind of disrespect that was displayed to elected leaders in the last five years, including elected governors by national government officials, is a thing of the past. These national government officials, we have told them, and will drum it to their ears, that getting elected is not an easy thing. It's a very serious business. Being elected by 100,000 people who slept in different homes and came one morning without any meeting, without any consultation, and deciding you are the governor of your county is not a mean achievement. And I want to assure you, once the top leadership has addressed the issue of attitude towards elected governors, that respect will trickle down to the bottom. And you shall see. I'll tell these county commissioners, I'll tell the police commanders, that an elected governor is the people's choice. And the people that you are coming to govern have made a decision as to who will govern them. And we'll tell these officials, if you cannot work with an elected governor, the choices are very narrow. A governor cannot go on transfer. He has just to stay there. So it's you to align yourself with elected leaders. And I must say, the kind of disrespect we have seen towards elected leaders, all the way from the deputy president to the governors, to the MPs, to the senators, to the women reps, by government functionaries, has come to an end. I will be shortly, once we form government and we have a minister for interior and a PS, I will be convening regional meetings with the regional commissioner, the county commissioners, and the governors so that we align them properly on the way, new way of doing things in this country. The sovereignty of this country is expressed by the people through their elected representatives. And that is why we must align all our government officials to that reality, so that we are able to work properly. And therefore, that is something that will happen. The President has told me to inform you that the coordination summit will be convened regularly as per the law. We'll do it twice a year, and if need be, we can do it as many times. And he has given a commitment that the first summit will be convened before the end of the year. He has further asked me to inform you that that summit will not be a monologue. It will be a serious consultative forum between the president, his deputy, and elected governors so that we can move Kenya forward. The era of summoning meetings and lecturing elected leaders like children must come to an end. We must allow elected leaders to speak because they speak for the people and the people are supreme. So those forums, and I have no doubt in my mind, will unlock most of the issues that you have. The issue of delayed disbursements will be addressed. The issue of transferring the remaining functions, followed by resources, will be addressed shortly. We must give true meaning to devolution.
because that is what the constitution says and indeed when we have gone round the people of Kenya are truly happy about devolution therefore I want to invite all of you please disregard the various political formations that we had this coalition versus this one that is what under the bridge we are all now elected to serve the people of Kenya let us work together let us work together and my office is open and I'll be very proactive in intervening in all situations where you need intervention from the national government officials to make sure that you are able to deliver your mandate to the people who elected you my office will be available I'll be available personally and for the few who know me I'm an easy guy I'm not complicated I'm not complicated I have no hang-ups about these positions this is all nonsense this is nothing what is important is to serve the people and to be available to your fellow elected leaders irrespective of your position so please my office is open let's engage let's move on and in our new government we have no boundary of who supported Kenya Kwanzaa who supported Azimio that is water under the bridge ourselves we are magnanimous in victory and we want to move this country forward and this is our country irrespective of who won and who didn't that is now a matter that belongs to the past let us all work together for the betterment of our country and we have just started the journey of economic transformation to change the lives of the people of Kenya to improve the quality of life for the people of Kenya to create an enabling environment for Kenyans to do business our policy is less and less government in people's lives and more and more services to the people of Kenya finally I want to assure you we are aware of the harassment and intimidation governors have had gone through by state agencies the level of extortion by detectives pretending to be fighting graft whereas they were just extorting money from governors and officials is a thing of the past <laughs> we have told this year to go back to Kiabu Road and wait for crimes to be reported there they have no business in government offices hovering all over and creating a toxic environment for service delivery we cannot have detectives in government offices because they poison the atmosphere and the environment for civil servants to deliver so we have we are going to tell our security officers that they cannot send a junior police officer to go and harass an interrogator an elected governor if there is an issue that needs to be addressed as it should be we are not saying we don't fight graft but let us be decent people let us have respect for elected leaders let the head of that particular organization write a letter to the governor himself and not delegate to some junior officers to address a sitting governor because that is not right and those are the things that we are going to do to restore the dignity of our leaders to enable them perform because when you embarrass an elected leader in front of his juniors and you go away how do you expect him to perform the following day that is what we must do and I've told them I was a civil servant for many years those days when things were working properly a gazetted officer could only be interrogated by a gazetted officer there is no way you can send a corporal or a constable to interrogate a sitting governor if you want you must look at the level the various levels in the security sectors we engage at that level so that there is dignity and decorum and that is what is most important so ladies and gentlemen I want to assure you that uh, as chair of IBEC you will enjoy working with me yeah, you'll enjoy and by the way nobody will harass you anymore you guys are so lucky that the deputy president is a guy who has been harassed therefore what we have agreed with dr william ruto 
that probably the harassment and intimidation we went through, it was all God's doing so that never shall we allow other Kenyans to be treated that way. So we'll work hard, we'll work together, we'll support you, devolution must succeed. But please work as a team. Put the differences of Azimio and Kenya Kwanza aside, that is what under the bridge, elect your leaders without looking at who belongs to what formation and be together. It's a saying in my community that buffaloes don't move together in a herd because of liking each other. They move together because of the danger of walking alone. So you work together. You have a better bargaining power. You have a better leverage when you work as a team. If you can elect your chair through consensus, so be it. If you can agree on the other positions, so be it. Be a strong team and so that you are able to engage. And please, you don't have to look for anybody. Let's see it from the opposition to push me or push William Ruto. Our sales, we are already persuaded. We just need good leaders whom we can engage. We don't need to be pushed by anybody on matters devolution. We are already persuaded and we are up to the game and we are ready. So with those very many remarks, I wish you well. Enjoy your stay in Mombasa. I wish I had time to spend a few days here. I have not rested for a single day for four and a half years. And now we are working and we have to keep on moving. I wish you well. Have a very fruitful engagement. I look forward to the first IBEC meeting. I look forward to the summit and together we shall deliver to our people because we serve the same people. Asante ni sana na mungu wabariki.